Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 24th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be simplifying a couple variable expressions for you. And uh, so this first one that we're going to do, we can simplify this by using the distributive property. So the distributive property, remember, tells us that if we have some number a multiplied by b plus c in parentheses, then we can simply distribute that into the terms. So let me go ahead and write out what I just said. So we have some number a, in this case it's our negative 3, and then that's multiplied by b, which our b in this case is 5y, and then adding that to our c, which is 3x. And I'm saying that you can take the a, you multiply it against the b, so this becomes a times b, and then you put the plus sign there, and then you do a times c next. So we're going to go ahead and do that to this expression here. So this is going to be negative 3 times 5y. So this is just, we'll just go ahead and write that down. Negative 3 times 5y plus negative 3 times 3x plus a negative 3 times 3x. So now we're going to simplify this a little bit. A 3 times 5 is 15, so that means that a negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So this becomes negative 15y plus a negative 3 times a, a positive 3 is a negative 9. So this is negative 9 times x. So now, if you're adding a negative, it's really the same thing as subtracting a positive. So we can rewrite this bottom part as negative 15y minus 9x. And so we've simplified this expression right here, and it looks like this. So this is basically our answer. This is our simplified expression. And so this tells us that this is the same thing as if we were to write negative 3 times 5y plus 3x from above. So these two are equivalent. This one is a little bit more simple. So that's how you simplify a variable expression using the distributive property. I'm going to go ahead and do one more example right now. And so we're just going to basically extend the distributive property now. So up here I say that we can distribute a into two different terms, but it turns out with the distributive property that we can actually distribute a into as many terms as we need as long as they're all within the same grouping mechanism. So basically we have some number a and inside of the grouping we have say b plus c plus d plus as many as many different terms as you want you can distribute a times b a times c so it would be a times b plus a times c plus a times d plus and you just keep that pattern going so let's go ahead and do that let's let's do that with this next example here let's do negative 2 and we're going to do negative 2 and then inside the parentheses we have 5x plus 3y minus 4 and so we're simply going to distribute this negative 2 into the first term so this becomes negative 2 times 5x plus negative 2 times 3y so this is negative 2 times 3y minus so it doesn't actually have to be a plus like we have here this time we're just going to go ahead and write the minus down and then we do a negative 2 times 4 so this is negative 2 times 4 so then we just simplify this right here so a negative 2 times a positive 5 is a negative 10 and then we have the x and then we're adding that to a negative 2 times a positive 3 that equals negative 6 and then we'll just put the y down there and then we have a negative and a negative and a positive now we'll just go ahead and leave this right now as a negative sign as a subtraction for now maybe later I'll show you a different way to look at this but for now I'm just gonna leave this as subtraction so I'm gonna look at this as negative 2 times a positive 4 and a negative 2 times a positive 4 is a negative 8 and so now we have negative 10x plus a negative 6y. If you're adding a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting, so this becomes negative 10x minus 6y. 
And then if you're subtracting a negative, it's the same thing as adding a positive. So this becomes plus 8. So we've simplified the expression above by using an extended form of the distributive property. And so we basically have shown that this right here is equivalent to what I wrote up top, negative 2 times 5x plus 3y minus 4. So that's how you can use the distributive property to simplify variable expressions. So yeah, stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra series. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.